So let's begin with our base, the classic white tee and jeans. We're going to add some minor details that will help enhance this minimal look. First, I'm going to roll up these sleeves, which gives a more relaxed but still clean fit. I'm also adding a bit of accessories, so I have some jewelry and I usually prefer more minimal pieces, but statement jewelry would go really well with this too. Next, I'm adding a belt, which to be honest, a lot of the times I wear just for the look of it. If you're feeling a crop top, I like to just quickly tie a knot but you can also secure it with an elastic to ensure that it stays that way all day. On top, I'm throwing on a leather jacket that I think instantly elevates any casual look, so it's a must-have jacket for me. I chose to wear white sneakers with this look, and you know you can't go wrong with a pair of chucks. Although, you can pretty much wear any shoe you like for these looks since they're all basic and would go with a lot of styles. So here is the first look, a casual everyday outfit that you can quickly put together and not think too much about. For the second look, still working with the white tee and denim, I switched the jeans into shorts for variety, but either bottoms will work. I bought a belt a while back and it came with this metal ring that's detachable which is nice because I can put it with any belt and I'm seeing a lot more brands these days making belts with chains and hoops so you can easily find them if you like this style. Also, I've been into the look of cardigans lately and I think they're a great layer to have on top and there's so many styles to choose from from different material and lengths so in my opinion it's a great item to have. I kept on the white converses but really any shoe will fit depending on what vibe you're going for. You know, sometimes you're just not feeling the white tee and want to wear something dark. So you can also create these looks with a black t-shirt. I love layering longer tops underneath, so here I'm using a striped turtleneck, which is a really easy go-to look. If you're tired of wearing jeans or you don't really want to wear pants, then you can opt to wear the t-shirt as a dress. I usually get a lot of tops oversized, so I can wear them on its own. I wore biker shorts underneath, which makes this outfit super comfortable. I wanted to keep with the dark theme, so I'm wearing black boots with this. I'm also putting on this bag that's kind of in like a harness fit, and I really love the look of it. It's definitely more of an accessory, but it at least can fit all the important things, which is good enough. And this is already an outfit on its own if you want to do like an all black look. But if you need a little something more, then denim jackets always make a good outer layer because you can easily wear with anything since they're so versatile. And personally, denim is one of those things I always reach for if I don't really have a mood for a specific look. Another super casual way to wear this is with a flannel. Well, actually, all these looks are casual, but this one I would say is a little more cozier. And if you can get flannels that have multiple patterns or colors, it'll make your outfit a little more unique and different. But generally, all flannels are great because they're pretty light, so you can wear them all year round. Just for a slightly different look, I changed to a mesh top underneath. And I'm really loving these like nylon buckle belts, so I'm just wearing one here to add some shape. I wore white boots to show another option if you don't want to wear black shoes and I feel like white or any other color can help break up all the black if it's what you're looking for. This outfit gives off a really chill, didn't really try, but you're still cute look. 